Tonight, the hunt for a killer gator. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ginger Gadsden. And I'm Matt Austin. Lisa is off tonight. A family says the gator killed their dog. Now trappers are trying to catch it. The attack happened behind some homes in the Sky Lake subdivision. That's just off 95 in Port Orange. Sashel Saunders is there live for us tonight. Sashel. Yeah, Matt Ginger, there is a sign right there that warns about those gators. Uh, gators neighbors say that they see them all the time, but they didn't fear them until now. Here is not a good place for a large eight, nine foot alligator. Dave Kirby heard about the missing neighborhood dog, but he didn't think he would see it floating dead near his backyard. They had some binoculars and was able to see that it did look like a dog. A lake right in the middle of about a dozen homes, also home to a family of alligators. And somehow a 100 pound boxer ended up inside. Trappers believe the dog was attacked. Uh, they were able to relocate the dog to the dock, and we helped uh, get the dog out of the water and carry it up. Neighbor Amber Barker snapped photos of the alligators this morning, not knowing what had happened. Her boxer dog, only half the size of the one killed. It's really sad. I, I honestly, I saw the alligator today, and I, um, I couldn't, couldn't imagine something like that happening to my dog. Kirby's even more fearful. He has a three and seven year old. He's kept them from getting too close to the lake, hoping the gators are caught soon. This is Florida. This is uh, where the alligators live, and we're in their area. So we have to learn how to live together. But um, there comes a time at which you have to um, take action to protect um, those people and animals that we love. Now, measures are being taken to uh, trap that gator. Some were set out earlier today. The trapper plans to come back out tomorrow to see if he got any bites. Reporting live in Port Orange, Sashel Saunders, News 6. Look like some big gators from those pictures. Sashel, thank you.